Kelsey, and I'm a seventh grader at Thurgood Marshall Middle School. This year, we gathered water quality data about the Deschutes River near our school. We sent the data to Project Green on our in class's internet connection to Econet. We then received all the data from other classes along the river and used this information to make inferences about our local river's water quality. I'm Josh Lake, and I'm a seventh grader here at Marshall. I'm enrolled in one of the three telecommunications classes here at Marshall. During the semester, we developed our own World Wide Web page. We researched the elements of a good page and discovered how to insert graphics and sound. We also learned how to make backgrounds in this wonderful class. Hi, my name is Yosem Sweet. I'm a senior here at Olympia High School. Earlier this school year, we connected the computer lab to the internet via 56K link. We installed and configured appropriate software on the workstations and then conducted several workshops to bring users up to speed on using email and internet resources. We also built one of the area's first high school homepages and structured it for easy access by our teachers and students. A friend and I are hoping to market our web page design skills this summer to businesses who wish to advertise on the internet. Hi, my name is Melissa Cummings and I'm a third grader at McKinney Elementary School. Throughout each week, me and my classmates write back and forth to Key Pals at Washington Middle School. We write about our schools, our students, our hobbies, and lots of other stuff. Washington Middle School students also come over to McKinney to teach us about Netscaping and writing our own home pages. It's really fun learning how the network can help me and other kids. Another asset of our computing network is our file sharing. File sharing enables us to have a folder for each student and teacher for their own personal use. Every person has their own account and their own password. Using graphics and applications like Clarisworks on the server, we create multimedia reports and save them in our folders. Teachers can correct and we can make presentations on screen without using paper. Hi, my name is Bill Davidson. I'm also a seventh grader here at Marshall. Earlier this year, we had to use the internet to find information for a social studies project and a science project based on rivers. We not only searched the World Wide Web and the internet, but we found email addresses of people in the region where we were studying. I personally corresponded with a person from Africa named Charles. He gave me information about rivers' history, art, and condition in a region south of the Sahara Desert. Hello, my name is Kiro Korotkova. And my name is Pablo Perverzov. And we, along with the six other students from Moscow, are here for three weeks to learn from the Olympia School District students. We plan to use the Olympia program when we return to all our Russian schools. Now we are making the first Russian schools home pages and we will continue to work with our new Olympia friends. In an effort to spread the technology faster and farther, we began a new program at Capitol called Technology Thursdays. This program brought in two students and one teacher from each of the network schools to CHS in order to expand their knowledge of not only email, but Archie, Telnet, Homer, and other aspects of the internet. They in turn would share their knowledge with others at their school. We then took this information back to our school and presented it to our classmates. One of our responsibilities as a navigator is to mentor one of our teachers during our regular school day. As navigators, our role as mentor includes finding resources that can assist with the integration of new technology into the teacher's classroom. Through this mentoring, we help the teacher with their own learning and the use of new technology. Hi, my name is Brian Wee, and I go to Garfield Elementary. On most Mondays, I, along with eight of my classmates, go to Capitol High School and learn telecommunications from the high school students there. We then return to our school and show our teachers and students what we have learned. So far, we have learned Netscape, Gopher, Mosaic, email, and monitor printer use. I also learned to set up email accounts on Overterm and the file server. For one of my classes, I submitted an independent study in which I go to one of the nearby elementary schools and teach first, fourth, and fifth graders. I teach first and fourth graders in the classroom, and then I have a group of four fourth and fifth graders that come to my school each week and learn the more advanced techniques of networking. Our networking students over the past couple of years have produced several informational documents which have helped our 
students and staff to connect to the network and learn a lot about the networking services that we're providing. These documents include how to connect to email while at school and all the settings that are necessary for that. Connecting to email from home, how to set up a modem, how to make all the proper connections from home. How to connect with Netscape and browsing the World Wide Web. Connecting with a tool called Gopher. Learning how to Telnet and some of the sites that we can Telnet to. Hi, I'm Kay O'Sullivan. I'm a second grade teacher at Roosevelt Elementary School. Recently, the staff at our school received training on email from a high school junior named Megan Henry. Many of us were apprehensive about receiving training from a high school student. However, Megan set us at ease with her style, her knowledge, and her handouts. Since the workshop, my second graders have been corresponding with parents, friends, around the country. The most exciting mail they received was a letter from a friend in Japan. Hello, my name is Dennis Harper, and I'm the technology coordinator here for the Olympia School District. As you can see from this segment of the tape, our students are heavily involved in the training of both our staff and faculty. There are many telecommunications courses throughout the district, and part of their classwork is to mentor one of their teachers. Technology TAs are available to teachers throughout the day, and secondary students are involved in independent study classes that provide training to elementary teachers. Students teach the majority of telecommunications in service, where teachers often learn alongside other students. This student-teacher collaboration model is certainly a tribute to the exceptional teaching staff in the Olympia School District, who are incorporating what they learn into their lessons. Hi, I'm Virginia Reed. I'm the technology coordinator at Thurgood Marshall Middle School. I also teach an integrated science, math, technology seventh grade block. When the students had difficulty finding information on internet about rainforests, we decided to provide a site for teachers and students to link to rainforest information and a place to provide lesson plans for others to use. We're in the process of also adding information on the temperate rainforest in our state. We have collected educational resources and made them available to all schools in the district via the network. Public domain educational software, information resources, art files, network and utility software are being shared from the CHS file server. Navigators also continually enter useful internet site addresses into a database that is available to all OSD net users. Email has proven to be one of the most popular services on our network. Our current package provides email activity at school for all connected users. We also provide after-hours dial-in access to students and their parents. By using banks of modems and timers, we get double duty from our regular phone lines. In addition, our system provides Telnet access, which allows users from school as well as from home to connect to computers around the world. It also allows us to connect with internet news groups. These are made up of groups of people messaging each other on a particular topic. We also have several in-school bulletin boards for students and teachers. These spaces are essentially electronic cork boards and allow people to post thoughts, ideas, proposals, and even classified ads for others to browse at their leisure. Hello, I'm Arlene Reynolds, a fourth grade teacher at Garfield Elementary School. For three years, the faculty and staff here at Garfield have used email to receive bulletins and communicate with each other. I check my mail at least two times a day and don't know how we could operate without it. Hello, my name is Pauletta King. I'm an intermediate teacher here at Margaret McKinney Elementary. We're using the network here for email communication, including our school's daily bulletin, researching on the internet, accessing shared CD-ROM titles, and using our automated library system. Our file sharing allows students and teachers access to different program applications as well as to our computerized student portfolio assessment program which resides on our school server. It includes student records, rating scales, scanned student work samples and photographs, and audio and video recordings. We also use and produce many multimedia presentations using slideshows, HyperStudio, 
laser discs, and video clips. Hello, I'm Al Cohen, Superintendent of Olympia School District. As you've seen from the video, telecommunications are indeed helping our children invent their lives. Our district views telecommunication not only as a basic 21st century life skill, but also as an opportunity to change schools and society to make them more effective and humane places. Our philosophy of viewing students as change agents rather than the objects of change is beginning to pay off. For example, today I am learning how to access the United States Department of Education website. Remember Dr. Cohen, yesterday we learned how to use Netscape to go places on the web. I do, yes I do.